Welcome to Shark Tank. The sharks are successful entrepreneurs from around the wasteland. There's Arthur Maxson, last descendant of Roger Maxson and leader of the Brotherhood of Steel. But he's also created the Easy Glide Ultra Comfort Bedroom Slipper and sold over 3 million pairs. There's father, raised by the Institute and now its director, used his DNA to create scents in his own image, also started Smell It Like It Is, an aromatherapy company worth over 65 million bottle caps. Desdemona, rugged leader of the railroad, dedicated to bringing all scents from enslavement, also owner of 14 immensely popular casual clothing stores she named Sweaters and More. Preston Garvey, the last of the true Minutemen fighting for the rights of all people, known throughout the Commonwealth for his integrity and sense of justice, is also founder and CEO of the hugely successful fast food chain Iguana on a Stick, now serving 23 Commonwealth locations. Now entering the tank is a military man who claims to have the perfect solution to those hungry nights out on patrol. Hello Sharks, my name is Colonel Augustus Aldum, and I am asking for 325,000 bottle caps in exchange for 12% equity in my company, Killing Pop. As a soldier in the Enclave, I've dedicated my life to service. And as a young enlisted man, I can remember many nights standing guard for hours on end without being able to grab a snack to hold me over to the end of my shift. Then a couple years ago, it hit me. What if a soldier could create his own snacks while working on the job? Let me show you what I mean. As you know, the Enclave makes the most sophisticated rifles on the planet. Well, this is no exception. It's a modified AR-17 Multi-Blast 6000. Fires 40 rounds a second. A 65 caliber bullet puts a hole in a man's chest the size of a soccer ball. Can penetrate 10 inch steel plating and kill from over 6,000 yards. But what's even more impressive, it also provides some much needed sustenance for our men and women on the front lines. Everyone, put on your protective headphones. Bill? Now, Sharks, as you can see, I have completely destroyed the target. But what you can't see is that I've also popped some of the best tasting gourmet popcorn money can buy. Piping hot and ready to eat. So who wants to plop up to the table and help me feed the brave men and women of our military and make a lot of cheddar doing it? I love popcorn. Can we taste it? Absolutely. My assistant will be bringing you some samples. This first one is our butter pecan crunch. There's no preservatives and no fats are used in the cooking process. How does the cooking process work? The heat generated from the firing mechanism is hot enough to pop the popcorn. Okay, so it seems like a product with a hint of purpose and direction. What are your sales? Well, my sales to date are... Unim... Important. What is important is that you've all been poisoned and will be dead in less than 20 minutes. There is no antidote <laughs> and I will finally get the chance to show this great nation. Uh, boss, boss, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, that's not the poison batch. What? The butter pecan crunch isn't poisoned. The caramel crispies are the poisoned ones. Oh, <laughs> I love a joke. I've sold over 12,000 units in the last six months. Now, what do you say we try our best-selling caramel crispies? Listen, I like the product. I think it could be a big seller. But you did try to kill us all with poison. So, I'm out. I understand. Thank you. I think you're a good salesman. You've made a good pitch. You've got a great product. You tried to kill us, I'm out. Okay, well, thank you. If we had eaten the Caramel Krispies, would we have had a painful death? Unfortunately, yes. There would have been 10 or 12 minutes there where you would have been begging me to shoot you in the head. Okay, okay, so you're very evil. Thank you for your honesty, but I'm out. 
All right. Thank you for your time. There's only one shark left. If the colonel wishes to make a deal, he'll have to win over Preston Garvey. I have a question for you. Okay. Why didn't you just shoot us with the rifle? I thought it would have been over a little too quickly, with not nearly enough drama. I thought if I could make you guys suffer, it will give me a scissor. Colonel Autumn came to the shark tank seeking a 325,000 bottle cap investment in his company, Kill and Pop, and wound up with nothing but a hell of bullets. Tune in again next week to watch more wannabe entrepreneurs on the next episode of Shark Tank.